Pandorf is one of the oldest German settlements in Australia. And the ladies would actually walk from Pandorf into Adelaide with their produce, go to the market and then walk back up the hill. So it's, it was quite, a, quite a, an achievement for them. I don't know what the men were doing. <laughs> <laughs> Probably having a good time. Because it's such a beautiful region, we've got wonderful wines and Adelaide is extremely blessed that we can do that it's so close to the Adelaide city. We're only 20 minutes away. I'm Christine Warsfield and I'm the Chocovino coordinator for Handorf Hill Winery. Um, Handorf Hill Winery has been here for about 20 years. The original owner was a German man and he came out here because his daughter married an Australian so he came out to make sure she was being looked after. When he did come he brought two grapevines with him. One is a Blau Frankish which is an Austrian Pinot and the other is Trollen which is a German red wine grape and we still continue today with these same grapes. We are still the only producer of these in Australia. We have Bought the crowns in from Austria, went through quarantine and planted, and once established we gave many of the uh, Adelaide Hills wineries uh, cuttings. So as you're travelling around you'll find there's a Gru Trail we call it, and it just showcases how this beautiful wine will be produced up in the Adelaide Hills. It's a very exciting concept. So we actually make this in three different styles. We have it in straight Gru, we make a riper style, which we call White Mischief, and we make a barrel for mint, which we call Brew 2. These are the most beautiful, beautiful wines. It, it does show the diversity of the wine. You can actually produce this wine in so many different ways. It gives you such a lot of beautiful big mouth feel. And we call it a red wine in a white dress because it's very, very much like a red wine. Our Blau Frankish. A most unique wine. This is an Austrian Pinot Noir style. What we have here is a, a wine that I call a happy wine and that's because it makes your mouth feel happy. Bau Frankish means blue blood or noble wine. And what you're going to take is blueberries and black cherries, plums, all the spices you find at Christmas like cinnamons. So when you take this wine just have a little sip leave it in your mouth for a moment it just bursts all those blueberries it just makes you smile it's wonderful we're the only producer in Australia it is an absolutely unbelievable one have it with some duck or it's perfect if you sit by the fire with some soft cheese well I think technology to engage with the audience is is something that if you don't embrace it then you're quite lost in the industry now. It's terribly important. Uh, everyone that comes in the door has some sort of iPad or communication. They go on uh, Twitter or what have you. So we do the same. We, we've got a very big loyalty list and we use that to promote our new uh, releases. We have um, a very good web page. We use Twitter. We use Facebook. Um, all of these things that, that it's important to get the message out because you can't just sit back anymore. You have to make sure that everyone knows who you are and, and get, they have to have access to you and they can do that 24 hours a day with, with some sort of media. Is all the wine pressed here? Uh, no, we process off-site. So all process off-site? Yes. So yes. how do you guys communicate <coughs> in, in technology-wise? So? Oh, mobile phone. <laughs> or we or we open the window if they're out in the vineyard and call out. <laughs>